Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here, and today I'll be reviewing S.H. Fig Arts Garo from the show Garo. Okay, first let's start with the box. So Garo here comes with a pretty nice, um, sleek and simple box here. Um, first you have the open window here that shows the figure, display very nice. You have this very nice um, varnish or foil application of Garo to make it um, shiny and silver here on the side. You have um, Garo's face here on the right side, and it spills over to this side of the box, so it's very nicely done. And I'm pretty sure this is a rendering or a screen capture from the show of his face, so I don't think it's the actual figure itself, but either way, it's very cool. You have the Garo logo here, then you have the Bandai uh, logo here, so it's pretty cool. Then at the top here, you have SH Figures Garo, then... Um, here on the right side, you have Garo, or the left side, excuse me. You have SH Fig Arts and Garo again with that same varnish, so it's pretty nice. Then on the back here, you have Garo in various poses and all his glory, so that's all very cool. You see Garo standing with his sword. You have Garo about to draw a sword here. Um, Garo just with a lot of poses and everything like that, so... This is definitely a cool figure, and we'll get into exactly how cool this guy is in just a second, but very nice, simple box. You know, standard information here. Okay, on the bottom you have your UPC codes. All that good stuff. So, pretty cool, very simple box. One thing that's also neat, and I think this applies to some of the older Fig Arts releases, that you have this description of what the Fig Arts line is about. And here we have um, SH Fig Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure art under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. So that's pretty neat. And I think you'll notice that little um, explanation, I think, on the older boxes, because I don't think that explanation is on some of the newer boxes, but I could be wrong. I have to go back and look through. But as a whole, this Garo box is pretty nice, sleek, um, you know, the black and the nice, you know, um, silver applications for the logo are pretty cool. So, next we're going to go ahead and get into the accessories. Okay, let's look at Garo's accessories. So, Garo comes with two pairs of hands, one individual hand, and then his sword and his cape. So, first let's look at his hands. So, as you can see, Garo's hands are nicely sculpted here. Get that to focus. Garo's hands are nicely sculpted to fit his uh, armor, and you know, there's it really seems like there's no um, details been spared in uh, sculpting his hand here. You have the claws here on the tip, which are very neat. Just overall, a very nice sculpt on these hands and everything. And once again, with all standard fig arts. Um, Figures the hands plug in via a ball joint, ball, via a ball joint peg, so that's pretty standard, pretty neat. The next you have Garo has his open hands here, so once again, nice detailing on the side, on the inside here. If you can see that, get the light to shine. You see, there's no, there's no detail spared here, and that's very cool, very show accurate here. It's pretty great. Very intricate. Okay, and then his last hand is his open hand. I'd have to say this is, you know, another sword holding hand or a sheath holding hand. And it's pretty neat. And you'll notice also all of Garo's left hands also have the fine detail of the uh, his companion. I don't remember what the guy's name is. It's uh, been so long since I've seen the show. But he has his ring companion. It's also part of his armor that, you know, speaks to him in the show. And that's on all left hands, and that's represented well. And it's amazing how they're able to get such fine and small detail into the hands here. So that's very nice craftsmanship there. This is a great sculpt and a great attention to detail. Pretty cool. And to show you more of that, his ring companion here. This is his left open hand. So you can see that's sculpted in there. Very nice, very neat. And then the same with his grabbing hand. Or is, yeah, grabbing hand, yeah. So that same details in there, so that's pretty neat. Next you have 
Garo sword. And it's a very neat, nice, cool sword. Very detailed, the sheath. Pretty cool. Very nice, that gold. Very show accurate. And then the sword comes out. Now this sword isn't die cast or anything like that. It's just uh, plastic. Um, it's somewhat of a thick and sturdy plastic, but it's still pretty cool. But you know, it has very nice detailings on the sword. Um, the handle here. All the detailings of Garo's sword here. And it's very cool. Now one thing with the sheath, it just kind of slides on, but it doesn't really click into place. So if you're not, you know, this thing will slide off. It would have been nice if this thing would have kind of clicked in or pegged in some way just to keep a just keep it firm and snug. But, you know, that's just a minor, minor setback. Overall, it's very nice, very neat, and a very cool sword. So it's a great accessory. Then finally, Garo also comes with his cape here. And this, I haven't seen the show in forever. I'm pretty sure it's a significant logo for his back. This is a pretty neat cape here. Um, all the folds and curls in the cape have been molded in. And it's very cool, very accurate. And this is the inside of the cape. And the way the cape pegs in, it pegs into the two holes on his back. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that right now. So on uh, Garo's back here, he has these two uh, wing-type accessories. And these, I believe, expand out into his cape. And all you have to do is just pull these off. So you just, they just slide off easy. Just pull it off. Then you take Garo's cape here. And you put that on. Let's see if we can push that on there. Ooh. It didn't break. So. Then get that cape in, get this piece in, get that piece in. Be a little firm. Let's see. Yep. And this is Garo with his cape attached. So it's pretty cool. Um, his cape does limit his articulation. But that's fine if you're going to display with his cape and everything like that. It's not that big of a deal. But this is a neat cape. And, whoops, I guess I wasn't on snug enough. But you get the gist of how the cape goes on. Just plugs into the two holes in the back. And, um, you know, that's about it. So it's a great accessory. Definitely a great accessory and everything like that. Just work with more to make sure it's in there nice and snug. So... That covers Garo's accessories. So next, we're going to go ahead and move on to the figure review itself. Okay, let's go ahead and review the Garo figure itself. So, as you can see, this figure is very impressive due to all the fine detailing here. They put a lot of effort into detailing every inch of Garo's armor. So it's definitely very cool, very neat, and very show accurate. And I'm super surprised that they were able to just, you know, go all out with all this detailing and everything. So it is very cool and very accurate. So right from the jump, I'm very impressed with all the detailing. You know, you have the detailing here in his ears and all that cool stuff. So first, let's go with Garo's articulation. So Garo... Um, he has standard head articulation. His head more so moves versus his neck. So his head, I guess, is on a ball joint. It can tilt forward. You know, he can do his head. I'm pretty sure he can do a 360 with his head and everything. So that's pretty cool. Then you have Garo's uh, arm articulation. It is hindered by his shoulders, um, but you still do get that pretty good range of motion there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if I can get his arm back down. Then you have the turning motion in his upper arm here. He has his double jointed elbows, which is standard with almost all SH Fig Arts figures. So that's pretty cool. You have his fist. He has some fist movement here. Very nice detailing on these arms here. Very cool. Even to go as far as to go up in here. These corner pieces, you think they might take a couple of shortcuts, but they spared no expense. So that's definitely cool. In his chest area here, Garo has waist articulation. He can kind of lean back forward here. 
So that's pretty neat, pretty cool. Okay. Definitely, definitely, still definitely impressed by all this sculpting here. It's pretty cool. You see here on the sides, they just didn't spare anything. Great figure. Very great figure. So then here at the hips, Garo has your standard SH Fig Arts hips where he has some movement here. You can pull down, pull the hip joint down. See that? That'll give you some even more kick motion. So that's pretty cool. Then Garo does have double jointed knees. So that's very nice, very neat, very cool. Double joint right there. Then uh, Garo's um, ankles, they are articulated some. Some ankle articulation there. And then Garo's toes have articulation also. So that's pretty cool right there. It's a nice ar toe articulation. So he can definitely get a lot of good poses here. And then on Garo's back, very nice detailing yet again, you see. They spared no expense with this figure. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Um, you have his, um, I would say these are wing expanders. These pretty much expand out into his cape in the show. But very nice detailing, you know. Even here on the back, you have all that, all those fine details here. And it's um, really nice. Really nice. Very cool. And this is definitely a great figure. You know, he's a nice gold because Garo is, you know, the golden knight, as according to the show. So, um, this is a great figure. Let's look at some of this detailing in this head real quick before we go. That is, um, let's see if I can get that to focus. Might be a little too close. It's very nice. They did not spare any expense in this detailing at all. So, this is a very great detailed figure. It's almost, um, it's, you know, pretty detailed, almost like those, uh, SIC Kamen Rider figures. So this is pretty cool. So as a whole, this Garo figure is a very great figure. It has super nice detailing and it's very, very impressive. So, um, I would highly recommend this figure to anyone who's a fan of the show Garo, um, the SH Fig Arts line, or anyone who's interested in these Highly poseable, very detailed figure. So this is yet another great release in the SH Fig Arts line. I'm very impressed with it, and I doubt anyone could ever be disappointed with this figure. It's um very nice, very cool, and very neat. It's a pretty great figure right here, you know. So um, I would highly recommend you pick this figure up, you know, whether you're a fan of the show or a fan of the line. Definitely pick this one up, so... Pretty cool. Well, this is Diego Doom, and this has been another review. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more figure reviews.